Hey, what's up guys? Wanna to talk to you guys real quick about uh, mounting things like scope mounts, uh, flashlight mounts, basically anything with a screw or a uh, cross bolt, um, and more specifically the torque values that we put on those. Uh, most of the manufacturers of all these mounts are gonna give you a recommended torque value to screw their stuff on your rifle with. Uh, why is that important? Well, if you under tighten things, uh, say for instance, you under tighten this scope mount, you could be shooting and it'll come loose and you're going to lose your zero. Um, if you go in the opposite direction and you over tighten things, right? If you were just to take a wrench and just gorilla this thing on here, uh, you could potentially break your, your mount. Uh, and that's a bad deal too. So uh, what you're going to want to do is get on Amazon and purchase something like this fat wrench. And it doesn't need to be a fat wrench, just some sort of uh, torque wrench, uh, torque screwdriver, whatever you want to call this thing. And uh, make sure it's in inch pounds, not foot pounds. Uh, we're not putting lug nuts on rims. <laughs> we're, we're just uh, installing things on rifles, right? So we need inch pounds, not foot pounds. Um, like I say, most manufacturers are going to have some sort of uh, torque value that they recommend. Badger uh, Ordnance does something really cool with their mounts where they engrave uh, the, the torque values on the actual mount, right? So you don't even need to get on Google and look this shit up. It's right here on the mount right in front of you. Kind of hard to mess up. So all I'm going to do to install this thing, number one is push it forward. Get both of these screws or bolts, whatever you want to call them, kind of hand tight. It's important to do both at the same time because if you just do one, uh, crank that all the way down with the wrench, it could possibly bind up the other one, right? So, so do both at the same time. Um, Badger recommends 65 inch pounds uh, for these uh, nuts, right? So we got our fat wrench set up at 65 inch pounds. We've got a half inch socket, which corresponds uh, properly with these nuts. That's also important, right? Uh, use the proper size socket for these things. We don't want to strip these. So all we're going to do is put this on here, tighten it a little bit. Whoops. Same thing with this guy. Tighten that a little bit. I like to go a little bit at a time with each one this way. Uh, like I say, they don't bind up. Uh, that click is going to tell you that it is at 65 inch pounds. Okay. That is basically it, guys. Um, that's all we're gonna do with this thing. Uh, and, and it's, you know, it's 50 bucks that you're gonna spend on this wrench, but it gives you a, a good peace of mind that all of your stuff on your rifle is mounted properly. That's super important, especially if we're, um, you know, relying on these things to be uh, life-saving equipment. You know, you could spend $50, $60 on a torque wrench and make sure all of your shit is mounted properly. So um, that's kind of what I got on uh, mounting optics and flashlights. Know the torque values, mount your stuff properly uh, with a torque wrench.